Welcome back to Legendary Tributes. Sandra Day O'Connor was an American attorney, politician, and jurist who served as an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States from 1981 to 2006. O'Connor was the first woman to serve as a U.S. Supreme Court Justice. She died on December 1st at age 96. Lyle Elmer Strom was a United States District Judge of the United States District Court for the District of Nebraska. He died on December 1st at age 98. Stanley R. Graham was an American psychologist and former president of the American Psychological Association. Graham was a founding member of Division 42 of the American Psychological Association for Psychologists in independent practice. Graham died on December 2, 2023 at age 97. Maria Amelia Martin was a Mexican-American journalist who primarily focused on Latin American and Latino affairs. After working for National Public Radio, she founded Latino USA, a radio program focused on Latino American culture, issues, and history. She died on the 2nd of December at age 72. Jerome F. O'Neill was an American attorney from the state of Vermont. He is most notable for his service as an assistant U.S. attorney for Vermont from 1973 to 1975, first assistant U.S. attorney from 1975 to 1981, and United States attorney 1981. He died on December 3rd at age 77. Andrea Faye Friedman was an American actress. Friedman died of complications from Alzheimer's disease at her home in Santa Monica on December 3rd at age 53. Claude R. Engel III was an American electrical engineer and internationally known lighting consultant. He designed lighting schemes for many notable structures, including the Reichstag and the Louvre. Engel died in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada on December 3rd at age 85. Peter R. Adam was a German film editor. He worked on such films as An American Werewolf in Paris, Goodbye, Lenin, and Anonymous. Adam was one of the first to use digital editing tools. He won the Deutsche Filmpreis for editing in 1998 for his work on Comedian Harmonist. He died on December 4th at age 66. Edgar Smith Woolard Jr. was an American businessman. He was chairman and chief executive officer for DuPont from 1989 to 1995. Woolard was a member of the National Academy of Engineering and the American Philosophical Society. In 1988, he received the Distinguished Engineering Alumnus Award recipient from his alma mater, NCSU. He donated more than $1 million to the John T. Caldwell Alumni Scholarship at NCSU. Woolard died on December 4th at age 89. James L. Easton was an American businessman, archer, and philanthropist. He served as the chairman, chief executive officer, and president of BRG Sports. He was the president of the World Archery Federation from 1989 to 2005, and he was a member of the International Olympic Committee from 1994. He died on December 4th at age 88. Norman Milton Lear was an American screenwriter and producer who produced and developed over 100 shows. Lear created and produced numerous popular 1970s sitcoms, including All in the Family from 1971 to 1979, Maud 1972 to 1978, Sanford and Son 1972 to 1977, One Day at a Time 1975 to 1984. The Jeffersons, 1975 to 1985, and Good Times, 1974 to 1979. His shows introduced political and social themes to the sitcom. He died on December 5th at age 101. Ralph Sorella was paid by Howard TV to be Howard Stern's personal stylist, a job he previously held for Stern's E! show. Sorella died on the 5th of December at age 58. David Thomas Wehrmeister 
was an American Major League Baseball pitcher, where Master pitched parts of six seasons in the majors from 1976 to 1985, never pitching in more than 30 games. Where Meister died in Walnut Creek, California, on December 6th at age 71. Ellen Virginia Holly was an American actress. Beginning her career on stage in the late 1950s, Holly was perhaps best known for her role as Clara Gray Hall on the ABC soap opera One Life to Live from 1968 to 1980 and 1983 to 1985. Holly is noted as the first black American to appear on daytime television in a leading role. Holly died at Calvary Hospital in the Bronx on December 6th at the age of 92. David Ellenson was an American rabbi and academic who was known as the leader of the reform movement in Judaism. Ellison was director of the Sutzerman Center for Israel Studies and visiting professor of Near Eastern and Judaic Studies at Brandeis University and previously president of the Hebrew Union College Jewish Institute of Religion. Ellison died on December 7th at age 76. Terry Bocom was an American bluegrass singer, banjo player, and band leader. He was nicknamed the Duke of Drive for his propelling banjo style. He led his band, the Dukes of Drive, and was a founding member of Boone Creek, Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver, and Third Time Out. Bocom suffered complications from a severe and rapid form of Alzheimer's, causing his death on December 7th. Terry died at age 71. That's a wrap for today. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel to see our latest content.